my passion is in democratizing access to good medicine. Um, and I believe that this information I'm about to give you is a right. Um, so I am Dr. Kate Henry. I'm a naturopathic doctor. I'm the director of the functional medicine program at Sonare today, um, a clinic with over 13 locations in the tri-state area where we help people thrive using natural medicine, psychiatry, nutrition, therapy, and coaching. Um, and we really believe in, like I said, democratizing access to good medicine and good medical information. It's your birthright to know how to use food and movement and sleep and lifestyle to treat any symptom you've got, including the symptoms of Parkinson's. The reason that I'm talking to you today is because I spent a number of years when I was in medical school working very closely with a naturopathic doctor who is brilliant, who specializes in Parkinson's, who does research on Parkinson's. And much of the research that you're gonna see today comes from her, her name is Dr. Lori Mishley. And so my goal is to empower you today with some of the, the research that she's published. And so if you wanna learn more after this, I'm gonna give you guys this link later, but she has an online school where I'm gonna to talk to you for 20 minutes. I think there's probably like 24 hour long videos in here that are like 10 bucks each. And so I, I wanna give you that information so that you can go learn more about this on your own. But what I'm gonna to talk to you about today is the role of natural medicine in managing Parkinson's symptoms. And so just quickly, like by show of hands here, um, how many of you have more symptoms than just tremor? Yeah, right, all of you, okay. And so when we talk about Parkinson's, often I think what a lot of folks think of first is the motor symptoms. But there are a lot of other symptoms that come along with Parkinson's and, and that's really what makes your Parkinson's unique. And some of them might be things like constipation and anxiety. We often see that these symptoms are really severe in people who have Parkinson's and they're not really being addressed um, when you are you know, talking to your movement disorder specialist who may be really trying to control more of your motor symptoms. And so the goal of natural medicine is to teach you to use food and supplements and everything to improve all of these symptoms. And so that's what I'm going to talk to you about today. So if you're like me, you are a numbers person. Um, so, and I'm going to stop sharing for a second. Uh, Carl, let me know that he's always talking to you guys about exercise. So how many of you have heard that exercise improves Parkinson's symptoms? Every hand should be up. Okay. I know, I know you've been lectured about this before. Hopefully all of you are exercising, but what I want you to notice is when it comes to the data, um, exercise is one of the lifestyle components that can impact Parkinson's and you're, I'm going to explain these scores to you guys in a minute, but nutrition supplements and things like cooking for others or not being lonely can also make a really big difference in your symptoms. And that's what I'm going to talk to you about today. So this number down here is a pro PD score. And so what the pro PD score is, and it's what I use in the clinic when people first come in, I have them take this um, pro PD survey that asks them about the severity of 30 different symptoms. Oh, maybe I didn't put that in here. Sorry guys, so you're gonna see me flipping back and forth a little bit. So these 30 symptoms are generally what are the most common symptoms of Parkinson's that we see in our clients. And so I like to measure all of them, right? We're going to talk about more than just tremor. We're going to talk about insomnia and anxiety, and constipation and freezing, sexual side effects of your medications and, of, and symptoms of PD. And so when we look at all of those, we can give you a score. And that score can be anywhere from zero to 2,500. Really, we measure it on a score of zero to 3,300. And so everybody who comes in the clinic gets this score. And this is what we use to track symptom progression over time in, in my practice and in many functional medicine practices. You can go find your own score at the link below, which I'm going to have Carl email to all of you guys at the end of this. So don't feel like you have to write this down. You'll also get this presentation in this recording. Um, but you can start to track your own score. And this is really helpful in measuring, like, how am I doing year to year? You know, like, where are areas where I can improve? Where am I progressing faster? Where am I progressing slower? And the beautiful thing that we do in my practice is that we use these numbers and then we implement these interventions. And our goal is to lower your score over time. So you'll notice that if you were to do all of these and they had the maximum impact on your score, 
lifestyle, nutrition, exercise, and supplements can lower your score by about 1800 points. That's a pretty big difference on this scale in terms of your symptomology. And so that's the power of, of natural medicine. And that's the power that natural medicine can have. So I want to talk about exercise first, because I know that's something you guys chat about a lot. And so what I want you guys to see, and there's the, an amazing YouTube video that this screenshot was taken from that I'm going to give you guys the link to at the end, because I want you to go watch the whole thing. It's about 40 minutes and it's like the best time you'll ever spend if you want to learn about lifestyle, natural medicine and Parkinson's. Um, but what we found in a, a study of over 840 people was that the folks who were exercising 30 minutes or more seven days a week had a drop in their, in their pro PD score of about 409 points versus people who might've been doing it two or three days a week. And you can see that this, this difference is much less. And so if we look over at this score over here, right, let's say you're, you have a score of a thousand, that means you're doing fair. If you drop that score by 400 points, you're now go from doing fair to doing good in, in terms of how you feel you're doing in life, how bad your symptoms are. Um, and so this is just putting numbers to what we already know, but I want to start here because it kind of gives you context for what I'm going to talk about next. There's also an additional really, really cool study. You guys can look up this study by just typing in this PubMed ID into Google and it will pull up the paper um, that looked at the foods that people with Parkinson's eat and it followed them over time, over a thousand people with Parkinson's and correlated it with their symptom score. And what we found was that there are certain foods that when eaten regularly are associated with a drop in symptom scores. Whereas there are other foods that if you eat them regularly, they'll increase your symptom score. And so a lot of this, you guys might recognize, and I'm gonna stop sharing for a second. How many of you have heard things like you should eat the Mediterranean diet? Yeah, yes, exactly. Some of you, right? Um, or how many of you have, you have heard things like you should eat more fruits and vegetables? Yes, okay. So the reason that those recommendations are being made is because you'll see up here, fresh vegetables, fresh fruit, things that you typically see on a Mediterranean diet, right? Like olive oil and herbs and spices are associated with improved symptoms in Parkinson's. Um, what we do in my practice that is unique is we help people actually figure out how they're going to do this. So rather than telling people, go eat more vegetables, go eat more fruit, which we all know we should be doing anyway. We design you a meal plan that contains foods you love that gets you there easily. Um, you'll notice that wine is on this list. I don't recommend that you do this every single day, even though it might be like delicious and fun. Um, I definitely though do recommend that you consume all of these other foods um, to the degree that you can, particularly the ones that we know make a difference. Um, side note here, and I can send Carl this link later to talk to you guys about. Eggs are on this list. And it could be because they contain choline. How many of you have heard about the research in choline and cinnamon dosing? Anybody? So there is some research that we can actually help you re reduce the amount of cinnamon you need to control your symptoms by supplementing choline in the diet. It's some pretty cool research. I'll give you guys the link after this. Um, but some of these foods contain medicinal ingredients that help your brain and your cells work better that help your cells respond to dopamine and medications, that help reduce the symptoms of PD and the side effects of your medications. And that's why they work, right? It's because they contain medicinal compounds. So this information is really cool and you can use this in your day-to-day -day life. There are supplements that are associated with improvements in your symptom score. Um, and I, I'm giving you guys the link here at the bottom and I'll, have, I'll send it to you in the email as well. Um, these are not supplements that you should start without talking to a doctor or a nutritionist or a clinician, um, except for things like turmeric. Um, you can totally incorporate that into your diet, um, just as a spice that you use on your food. Um, but what you'll see is some of these numbers are pretty powerful and taken all together. They make a pretty big difference for some folks, or they have the potential to make a difference in your symptom score. Um, and so again, this, I don't want you to take my word for this. I, I want you to go look at these papers and then go look at the research that's summarized in this paper um, to learn more. But this is just a demonstration of the impact that supplements can have on Parkinson's. This is again from that YouTube video I told you guys about. 
we're talking here about like exercise and diet, but some things also matter in terms of just lifestyle, having friends and not feeling lonely make a really big difference in Parkinson's symptoms. And while they're, those aren't things that come in a pill, they matter. And so those are things that we talk with our clients about a lot at Sonari. Um, additionally, just things like preparing healthy food for others, cooking most of your meals, um, trying to eat organically make a difference in score symptom score over time. And so what you'll see is when we're talking about like, what are your symptoms, right? What does your PD look like and how do you use what you're doing every single day, but just adjust it or modify it to make a difference? Um, this is what matters. And this is the evidence as I have it. And so remember the impact, right? If you're doing all of this and you're using all of this to your advantage, you can really make a difference in your quality of life um, with Parkinson's. And so kind of the calls to action here, I'm going to give you guys these links again. I want you to, after this, go find this video I'm talking about and, and watch it. Um, if you want to enroll in the study and become someone who we are researching and we're asking you like, how, how are you eating? How much are you exercising? What supplements are you taking? That will give us the information that the researchers need who are compiling lists like this. So I want you to go enroll in that study um, and I'm going to give you the link to do so. And then you can learn more about this in the Parkinson's school that I'm going to link to at the end as well. And so rather than just 20 minutes today, you can have like 20 hours. Um, and then if, if you need help designing a plan, my practice can help you. Or you can see other doctors like the doctor who's the author of these studies who can help you figure out how do I take these supplements or should I, how do I incorporate, the, incorporate these foods in my diet? 